The structural task within EasyPV allows us to do some structural calculations to determine whether the weight of the solar array will cause any issues in regards to the permitted dead load of specific roof structure types. Now it does state in the guide to the installation of a PV system by MCS that a structural calculation should be undertaken by a suitably competent person and it also states that this should include a site visit to check that the roof structure can withstand the dead loads that are calculated using these methodologies. Methodologies outlined in the MCS guidelines have been included in EasyPV and are applicable to both the trust and rafters roof structure types. However, it does state that for the rest of the roof structure types in this list, a structural engineer should be consulted to perform a full evaluation of the roof and the same goes for flat roof systems as well. Now, it can still be useful to determine the additional loading that will be imposed on the roof by the solar array, which these calculations can do. And these are then compared to the building regulations that state a 15% increase of this loading is not considered a significant change and should therefore give us a fairly good indication as to whether that array will be safe or not to install before then consulting a structural engineer for more advice. To complete a structural calculation, choose the roof structure type that you are working with and then click next. And as you will see, EasyPV has actually pulled in automatically the details here, such as the weight of the solar array, area covered by the solar array, and the permitted dead load for that specific structure. So all you need to do is go ahead and click calculate. And based off those methodologies, it will do that calculation and then either give you a tick or a cross depending on the results. You can also calculate snow loading here by just selecting yes and actually selecting your snow zone based on your postcode region. Click calculate there as well. And then we can also do some wind loading. There are a few factors involved in determining the amount of wind force that will be present at the property, uh, which include the ridge height of the building. So the distance from the actual bottom of the ground floor to the very peak of the roof, the distance from the sea, and the type of topography in the local area can also have an impact. So you're going to choose the terrain here and select whether there is significant topography or not. As you can see here, the fixing details have also been pulled in automatically. So again, all you need to do there is go ahead and click go and it will complete those calculations for you and give you either a tick or a cross. Clicking next will bring you to the summary where you can see the results of both those calculations and that's this task complete.